Things Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop and today we're continuing that journey down the 3D menu and we are on apply cross section to scene. It's currently grayed out but we're going to get it going here in a second. I have my model. I'm going to select in the 3D panel scene. In the properties panel you'll see a checkbox. I'm going to enable that checkbox and you can see now cross section has a bunch of different features here and what this does it cuts the model in half. You can move it around. You can change the plane and how much it crosses one way or the other. And I can change all kinds of tilts. I can turn it this way. I can turn it this way. In fact, um, hmm, I'm going to keep it back kind of centered like that. And now I'm going to apply it. So let's go back here, scene, cross section. I'm going to keep this. Oh, I can actually change the colors. I should go ahead and do that just to show you the intersection. I can change that color to something like bright green. I'm going to enable that. And so you can see those are things you can do with the cross section. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And it says if you have animations or rigs, it's going to remove them. So don't do that if you don't want to, <laughs> to see those things go away. But we're going to do it anyway. And here it is. It's, it's now a cross section. It is now two different folders. It's still there. The model has not been change the geometry is not changed it's just simply being hidden right now but now you can do other things you can render it and whatnot um, with the cross section enabled and that is 3d apply cross section to scene yeah any questions leave them on the channel and on to the next one thanks for watching